mediator between this attraction. Why are the electrons attracting the electrons? From a quantum mechanics perspective, they're attracting each other because these crystal lattice substances, these guys, they are emitting phonons, which are quantum vibration. And when they do so, that's what causes the particular attraction, these vib this vibrational phenomenon, this distortion of the crystal lattice as the electron passes through it. However, however, when you look at this, not from a quantum mechanics perspective, but simply from, you know, just a general, why does this happen? Wh who is the mediator? The mediator is the actual crystal lattice. It's the actual structure through which these electrons are propagated. So what actually causes the attraction is the distortions within the crystal lattice, which act as the mediator. And Cooper pairs, having this property of zero spin and no angular momentum, uh, essentially is what makes the quantum world meet our regular world. And you can watch and understand such phenomena as the flow of superfluid helium, which flows, uh, as you know, with absolutely no viscosity, and it can actually flow up the walls of a beaker, which is completely out of this world. And believe me, this stuff gets so exciting that you haven't lived until you've actually seen and most importantly understood how levitation can actually work. And levitation, for instance, uh, works with superconductors, magnetic levitation. You can watch and understand how that works, for instance, from any uh, book or any video that you see, for instance, here on YouTube. Now, unfortunately, this theory, the BCS theory, can explain events such as high temperature superconductivity. Now, if we could write a theory that would be capable of explaining high temperature superconductivity, then we would effectively change the way the world does science and does technology. We would change the face of this planet. So I wish to wrap this presentation up by wishing you good luck and hoping that you will write a theory capable of explaining high temperature superconductivity and hoping that for that you will be the next Nobel Prize winner.